Tomorrow will mark two months since the cargo ship Dolly struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing its collapse. Since then, salvage efforts have progressed to the point where the Dolly has finally been removed from the site. A memorial for the six construction workers who have been killed has also grown into a community fixture. WJZ is on your corner as Dennis Valera attended the last vigil at the memorial site. Baltimore hit another milestone in the aftermath of the Key Bridge collapse. Cruising is back in Baltimore. Royal Caribbean's vision of the seas became the first cruise ship to leave the port since the collapse. Port leaders and passengers say it shows the progress made since March 26th. We're all uh, Maryland natives, so it was really traumatic. But um, we didn't really think about our cruise right away. I mean, we were more concerned about what happened. But I had all the faith in the world that we would go out of Baltimore. Meanwhile, along Fort Armistead Road, a milestone for the memorial honoring the victims. A final vigil. Artist Roberto Marquez is trying to find a home for it, saying the victims' families and many in the community have come to adore it. The mural becoming a host of people's calls for unity. They were welcome. They felt that it was like a place where they can sit down, meditate, talk to each other. And eventually it's been like a community that, that is getting together, you know. Marquez, who lives in Texas, says maintaining it just isn't in the cards anymore. He's been in talks with city leaders as well as the museum. Others have also been helping find a home. I've been talking to the governor, uh, see if there is a possibility of finding a location where this can be permanent and we can have a remembrance of what happened. The victims' families are part of the process. Marquez is grateful for all the help he's gotten, seeing this grow from a few crosses and flags to what it is now. All of our brothers, all of the construction workers, all of the people that came around, they've done so much that without them, we couldn't reach this point. I wish I had the money to pay them, but I don't have it. To illustrate just how much this memorial has grown, there is now a section honoring the six construction workers who died on I-1695 last year in that work zone crash. Reporting along Fort Armistead Road, I'm Dennis Blair for WJZ.